What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. All right guys, we got a we got one for you here. This is this is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see your reactions to this uh cuz I'm very torn about the whole situation. Uh so I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion of what's happening. So just so you guys are aware, uh Crunchyroll Games has now finally brought out something for the Crunchyroll Games players in North America, global, uh some folks in Europe, uh and that is an offer to get yourself 750 world silver bi-weekly if you have a Crunchyroll Premium Membership. Uh, so I want to explain to you how this works. So every two weeks on the 1st and the 15th, you're going to get have the opportunity to get yourself a code, which will give you guys that amount of world silver if you link your Crunchyroll Premium Game account. So I'm going to go to my account here. I'll show you guys. You guys can see here. You can link Google, Apple, etc. So whatever you're using currently, all you got to do is log into your Crunchyroll game here, and then you have to turn on the marketing portion of it for it to work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read this out to you guys so you guys understand exactly how this works. So starting today, February the 21st, which is actually today, You'll receive a unique code in the email that can be redeemable for any in reward for One Punch Man World. To be eligible, Crunchyroll Premium members must be logged in to One Punch Man World with the Crunchyroll login option. After that, Crunchyroll members will be rewarded bi-weekly on the 1st and 15th of every month. Look out for new unique codes in your mail. So I'm going to go ahead and check my mail out. Now, keep in mind, you have to be opted in. This is important. You have to be opted into their marketing. It actually states it in the actual notification. So what you have to do in order to do that, guys, is log into your account. Let me just quickly show you where. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's a specific place here that explains to you how to do it. Let me just see here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Da, da, da. Hold on. Let me just find it for you guys, okay, real quick. Uh, here we go. I have a mega fan account, blah, blah, blah. No, we don't need that. So free members can also do it. If you have a trial membership, they'll give it to you one time and then you lose it unless you upgrade. Keep that in mind. Uh, so the codes are only available for, please visit our website to learn how to upgrade your membership. That's for, again, for if you plan to upgrade. Um, let me just find the place where it shows you have to have the marketing on. There's actually a place that explains this. I read this whole thing to myself and I was like, I'm not going to read everything to you guys, but I do want to explain to you guys where to find it. Um... Hey, where is it? Where is it? Sorry, guys. It is only region locked, by the way, for only Crunchy Premium members within the Crunchyroll Games region. So it is only for global players. So C players and everyone gets a little bit screwed over. So now you guys kind of know how it feels. It sucks. So I apologize. You guys aren't getting the same thing. Uh, here we go. Uh, the, let me see here. Um, can I redeem the Crunchyroll games on any platform? So yeah, you can use it on any platform. If it's App Store, Google Play, it's PC, or One Punch Man World uh, is, is cross-platform, so you can use it on any of those. Um, where did I see this? We may suspend... Hold on, guys. I swear I saw this somewhere where it says you have to have the marketing portion of it on. Um, oh, here we go. Go to your game settings tab, gift code... No, this is how to do that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here. <laughs> This is right in the beginning. In order to receive your Crunchyroll mem member game code, you must be opted in for the marketing emails as part of the Crunchyroll membership. To opt in, please go to your Crunchyroll account and update your preferences. So I'm going to go into my preferences here, guys. So my account, and I'm going to go to preferences. Preferences, preferences. Where is that? There it is. And then you have to opt in for their... Um, go to preferences. You may opt out anytime and update your preferences. So I have language, audio... Uh, show closed caption, mature content, uh, email notifications. Maybe this is the one. All notifications on. There it is. So all notifications need to be on for you to get this email, okay? Um, you may opt out anytime. You must log into One Punch Man World within that uh, within the prior of the 1st of the 15th. So log in today if you plan to do this. So that's the first thing. Now, if you don't get the email because you were opted out like me, if you're, uh, where's this, where does this say? If you have not received your country rule membership code, please contact our customer service team. So click on this. It'll take you to customer service. You can fill it out and get your code. So I'm going to, let me just log in real quick, guys, to my Gmail, which is currently connected to this game and see if I got a code from country rule at all for this game. Um, let's see. Was this you? Yes, it was me. This was me. Good. Okay, let's do this. Let's just see if I get a code. Okay, so I'm just saying this is me. So that's fine. And now if I go to spam, uh, nope, nothing in spam. If I go to inbox, nothing in inbox. If I go to social, or because it's a Gmail, obviously, I'm talking to you guys about. Uh, I don't see anything here. So I'm going to hopefully be getting this code sooner than later. Uh, so now, the biggest problem I have with this, obviously, is the fact that it's another ploy to get yourself ways to pay for this game. Now, number one, um, 
It's only 1,500, which blows my damn mind, guys, that it's only 1,500. That's not even a full multi. Like, why would you just not give everybody a multi? Like, give 1,500 each, maybe. That would even make more sense every two weeks. You know how hard it is to get world silver in this game? It's like pulling teeth after a while, right? Like, I'm level 66, it's free to play. The only way at this point to get myself world silver is any brand new events that pop up, achievements, some some extra events simulation device and of course the weekly mail storm which is never going to be enough because whales are going to dominate that so i kind of have an issue with this because now it's kind of forcing folks to log in to a premium account which they may not need in order to take advantage of this um i, I think it's a little bit scummy i know now i know most of you gotta say hey you know what if you play one punch man world chances are you're a fan of anime, you're prob you're absolutely right, and chances are you have a premium Crunchyroll account, because let's be real, most people know that they are the premier membership plan for anything anime related. So it kind of goes without saying, most of you guys will have this and most of you will benefit from this to some extent. But to have us turn on the marketing, to get spam now, to get like... Uh, you know, a full-on membership just to play this game. It's a little bit jarring. I'm not a big fan of the, of the approach here. I think, quite honestly, they should have just given everybody this as a standard for playing the damn game still. Because a lot of people have quit, right? And because of things like this, it causes people to have a bad taste in their mouth. So, Crunchyroll, I really hope you reconsider the approach here. Like, I'm a, I'm a premium member. Don't get me wrong. So, for me, this is this is a this is a no-brainer. I'm going to sign up to this. Obviously, I'm going to take advantage of this, right? But for those who are not premium members, you're kind of putting them in a corner where now they have to choose between do I go premium membership or do I quit the game? Because people are going to be pissed about this. People will really be mad about this. And I'm telling you now. So I'm curious to know, guys, from your perspective, what do you think about this? Like, I think this is something that should have been... Like, if you look at the emojis down here, uh, 114 of them are middle fingers. Yeah, yeah, let me move my camera. 114 of them are middle fingers. Uh, this one here is 33. 12 is eye open. 35 is a yawn. Uh, 9 are thumbs up, guys. 34 are dead skulls. Like These are all... Poo is 57. The clown is 58. Bro, these are all very <laughs> negative emojis. These are... The people on Discord are usually your hardcore players, are the players who care about the game and the community. And if they're feeling this way about it, Imagine how people who don't know about this are going to feel. And then if they feel left out, right? Or people who don't really watch anime that much or don't want to pay for a premium membership. That's like, what is a premium membership? $15 a month, right? Now, I think it's a little cray cray. I think this whole approach is crazy. Now, again, speaking to some folks on my Discord, they're all happy because they're all premium members. And again, that's fine. For those who are premium members, this is obviously a benefit to you. And I, But I still think overall as a marketing engine marketing message you're sending the wrong one you're telling people we're gonna try to make money off of you any which way we can from a crunchy roll brand which is crazy to me so anyways guys i'm curious to know what you think about this, this is pain let me know take care